Welcome back, everyone. It is called The American Dream. Buying a house for your family, having everything you want. And we're joined today by Nanette Gravitt, Assistant Vice President of Mortgage Services at Mountain America Credit Union. Thank you so much. Thanks, but if you're going to actually get everything you want, including a home, that involves saving. Absolutely. And so where do you start? Because sometimes when you think about, especially buying your first house and that mountain of money <laughs> that you are yes. going to fork, fork over for your down payment, doesn't always have to be so. Tell us what some of the options are. Okay, well, I know it seems really overwhelming at first, but it honestly doesn't have to be stressful. You just wanna make sure you're giving yourself enough time to plan and save for the money for your down payment and then for any other expenses that are gonna come up with owning a home. So, so when, when, when you think about that, especially um, earlier on in life, maybe you're just starting out, just getting mm -hmm. married, um, do you need that 20% down payment? I, I know things have changed yeah. in the last few years. Is it something that, that, that you need to have that money saved for? That's a little bit of a myth that you need 20% down to even buy a house. Mountain America does have a product. You can get into a home with as little as $1,000 down. That's our first time home buyer product. Most other traditional mortgage products, you're going to need anywhere from 3 to 5% down. But that's really not the only cost that you'll incur in getting into a home. It's a big part of it. Right. But if you've never owned a home, do you have a lawnmower? What about a ladder? Are you going to need to buy some furniture or paint some rooms or carpet? There's other expenses that you're going to want to plan for. And then you want to factor in as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we're talking about uh, buying a home, whether it, you need to make um, improvements to it, how much home can you afford? That is a question that needs to yes. be answered. Okay, so that's a two-pronged approach to determining okay. how much you uh, can afford when it, it comes to qualifying. First, you want to get with a mortgage loan officer, have them look at your credit, your income, your assets, and determine how much, what is your price range? How much of a down payment are you going to need? And that's going to be considered what you qualify for. But then you're going to want to take a look at your own budget and determine what can you actually afford because sometimes you'll be told, oh, you qualify for, say, a $300,000 mortgage. When you go back and look at your budget, maybe you feel more comfortable in, say, a $250,000 home. I'm really get, glad you said that because yeah. sometimes uh, you qualify for more than you really can bite off. And yeah. It's, it's a little intimidating. So when we are saving um, for our mortgage, our first home, what yeah. are some things to think about? Okay. Well, first you need a plan. So if you've already met with a mortgage loan officer, you know how much house you're going to buy, you have a goal for what you want to save for. From there, there's a couple of things you can do. You can consider paying off some credit cards. You want to pay those down to a zero balance, but don't pay them off in, or don't close them out because that can have a negative impact on your credit rating. Um, you can also look at conserving. If you go to a movie every Friday night, could you go to a movie every other Friday night and maybe take the money that you've saved and put that towards buying your first home? Because it really does add yes, up. Yes, it does. Nanette, where, where can we get more information? Come visit a loan officer at Mountain America Credit Union or visit us online at macu.com. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Lori. We appreciate it. Andrew. All right, appreciate that, guys. Always so good to hear that advice.